Hello, hello. I welcome you back to Soul Cell. So my Capricorns, we are doing your messages from your ancestors reading, okay? So across the blue moon, I had to post the reading earlier. I could not because I was traveling, right? Uh, so uh, let's see what are your messages. If you have not liked and subscribed to the channel, please do. That would really mean a lot. Thank you. And uh, thank you my old joiners, the new joiners. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I welcome you on board. Do follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well. That would really mean a lot. Okay. So they're telling me two more shuffles. I take their guidance and this is Michael Gabriel. Blueberry is there with me assisting the reading. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings and communication is what we posted for Capricorn. It was a uh, bonus reading that was guided. It was an amazing reading. You guys must watch it. Okay. What are the messages we need to see? They're still telling me to shuffle. They told me to, but they're telling me to shuffle. I'm doing it. Working on the details is what they show me for you, okay? Yeah, like you, you're giving it a deep thought, giving it a deep thought. They're saying give it a deep thought. Absolutely. So let's see. So I'm going to pull out your core energy, like the first card, okay, would represent that. The current prevalent may be your energy. And uh, then something that was there in the past, that was kind of there with you. Uh, then what is binding it okay going forward what is the advice that your ancestors are sending you and the outcome is what we'll pull okay so let's see the first card show me the mystery message that i need to see for my people comes the first card so this is a buddha deck that i use it's an amazing one that i use only for ancestor messages or any profound reading that i'm doing okay deep reading that i'm doing this is the ten of jewels okay so i'm going to explain these cards to you maybe you're not very acquainted with them uh so this is jewels in this deck represent pentacles okay so ten of jewels is like the ten of pentacles so you're in that energy that's what they say but again you know it has another connotation to it that i'm going to come to let me just pull out a spread first, okay? So what was it that was holding it in the past? So it's more, like I said, you know, it's more to do with uh, your finances, etc., etc. Absolutely, the chariot, cancer, energy, Siddhartha's visit. So this is really that kind of vibe where you were trying to balance it all, going forward in the direction towards the Ten of Pentacles, but... Now, what's really binding it? It's like you fall uh, trapped to the same things. You make the same mistakes over and over. They're saying don't make the same mistakes. Uh, that's what I think your uh, your guides are telling right now. One second, I have to just put my phone down. Yeah. So, what's binding it really? There are too many. We can't have just one card, my God. The very one card with the ten of jewels and the chariot for my kids. Although, when we're doing these readings, we do not talk about, uh, you know, other understandings. But, see, we have the middle path. You have to take the middle path. You cannot be out there saying that, you know, I'm going to make it my way. It's my way or the highway. No. If you need to get this, you'll have to balance certain things in life. Look at the card, how amazing it is. So you'll have to really balance it. Okay, Sagittarian energy. What is the uh, ancestor saying behind the wheel? What is that you take? Could be your, you know, deceased, deceased uh, elders of the house, family, people. Yeah. Six of lotuses. This is six of wands. It's sheer victory. They're saying that once you align this kind of energy with this, like the ten of pentacles with the chariot, you balance it. You don't rush into things. You align the yin and the yang. You can just have it all, you know. It's not just the pentacles, it's also the emotional wellness. So you will be successful. What else? But don't repeat the same mistakes. Don't do not do that. The Zach, exactly. I think Scorpio had it. The full moon. 
so they are saying even if you don't understand it right now you know why the middle path i am very clear where i am and i see five five on my <laughs> thing so they are saying the change has to come honey you cannot question it do not question it trust it trust whatever is being sent to you for your highest good trust that they are actually bringing in the best for you okay do not do not question it what else for my capricorns what is the outcome <laughs> this is nine of vajra so this is nine of swords they say you just have to trust it because you're not trusting it okay you're not trusting it you don't have to know what you don't know trust it that's what this card really reminds us okay let me just give you a detailed <laughs> understanding for it because obviously you know these cards are a little different right so see ten of jewels as i said is about the ten of pentacles so the heart is with the chariot okay the cancer energy so what you're really saying is that if you keep pushing in this direction you know with the chariot with this kind of energy the might be the highway they're saying you would invite a lot of stress anxiety a lot of uh, you know issues to you because obviously you would be on the go all the time and you would not be able to kind of you know look things into perspective so you'll have to balance that yin and yang energy that's what they're saying that you have to align yourself like this so that you can take control of the rider and what you're riding as well right so that is where you'll be inviting the uh, ten of jewels because this is what is binding it you know this is what is binding it this is the middle path the sagittarian energy the where in you'll understand why this is happening for you right and why you need to balance it all six of lotus is that if you do this this is coming to you lotus is, as i said they are one so this is really about riding this horse and standing victorious it's that kind of vibe it's six of wands kind of vibe it is leo sagittarius energy and with the zack here it is really about saying that you know what i trust you no matter what i will yet again manifest new moon coming forward and i'm going to put in my best and i will try not to fall into the same trap because i told you that that's what they've been saying that you know how much planning you may do literally virgo season is really about that kind of vibe only to organize to structure etc etc right it is going to do it automatically right but what they're saying is that the interesting thing to do is that you also try to you know get out of your comfort zone which is like i know it i got this you say that you know what maybe i have not yet i will receive it no matter what because i'm balancing it i'm aligning myself and that's where the twist will come the exciting offers exciting engagements will start coming around and you'll embark on a new journey right so that's what uh, your ancestors are really telling you to you know um to be easy with yourself i think and also have that sense of perspective uh, with the chariot here okay so let me clarify with the ethereal the ten of jewels the siddhartha and the middle path for you boy oh boy oh boy i mean <laughs> we have the nine of wands you'll have to drop this guard okay you really have to drop this guard and you have to trust that whatever they bring in the bring in for the best because what do we get next ten of pentacles with the ten of pentacles you've got to be kidding me it's such an amazing thing i mean you've got money baby show me the money <laughs> your ancestors are saying that this time it's coming to you but this is also about transforming yourself here because that is how you will be going forward you'll have to bring about that change you'll have to balance those two energies that you're not able to balance it well right so what do we need to see with the six of lotuses with the nine of vajras and the zack 
to a swath air and they still saying that you will not kind of trust it because you would be questioning it they saying please don't do that you would not be doing the right thing that's what your ancestors are saying because see what do we get nine of pentacles i mean you need to know your worth you need to trust yourself you need to say that you know what i know whatever you sending my way is for my highest good and i'm not doubting it no matter what and then we have the king of cups so basically it's about aligning yourself Uh, from within, aligning the yin and the yang, aligning those energies so that you can understand why things happen the way they happen. And when you realize it, by the time you know you you are at a point, you know there's this race which is happening. You're running it. You don't understand how soon, how fast, how late it is. But once you're at the finish line. and you cross it you're like oh you know what this is worth it right so exciting exciting reading i love it uh, for you guys so uh, thank you so much for watching and if this resonates give us a like and subscribe and do share it on your social handle that would really help and stay home stay safe and i shall see you the next time bye